What's up guys, Inigami here, and today our One Piece Terror Cruise video is brought to you with the help of OPC. Look, I've got a new gaming chair. I'm a finally a professional Twitch streamer with my sweet gaming chair, OPC. Link in the description down below, get $10 off anything on their site. Anyways, into the non-sellout news. So, new stuff is coming for January. We now have a new Lin Lin, or Young Big Mom, whichever one you want to call her, Ambush. This is going to start on the new Fortnite. So it's going to start on a new Fortnite, and it's going to be at the end of that Fortnite. And after the after the 1st of February, Lin Lin Ambush is going to be available on Raid Bosses. So we're not sure if this is going to be a difficult fight or not. If it is going to end up on Raid Bosses, it could be that this is just an extra get bonus stuff. And so sometimes at the end of Raid Boss, you'll get, instead of the regular Ambush, you'll get this Ambush for additional drops or whatever. Because I don't imagine they put a difficult fight on a Fortnite ending. But we'll see what this is going to be about. But it is going to start on the 4th, whenever we get our new Fortnite, Linlin Ambush coming in. And then after that, it will be available on Raid Bosses. We have Kaido Treasure Map confirmed for the 9th. So Kaido Treasure Map is starting on the 9th to the 13th. Four-day Treasure Map. We'll see what he does. Uh, we are starting to get a list of the characters that are boosted on a Treasure Map. Don't forget, you can use the Treasure Map Planner website. So that way you can see all the characters that are boosted. It has the Global Treasure Maps and Japan Treasure Maps with characters boosted on there. It's a great resource. Highly recommend using it. We have Sanji. We already know Sanji's out. This is the Sanji that is that they're bringing out with uh, to showcase the new support abilities. So once again, if you don't know how to get him between now and the 20th, all you gotta do is log into the game six times. Make sure you power up Sanji to Sanji. Get those five support abilities. That way he maxes out his support. The Anniversary Sunny is coming back! Anniversary Sunny is coming back on the 26th to the 16th. Now, remember, Anniversary Sunny has two different modes. On the 26th to the 1st, so for the rest of 2018, whenever it comes out, it will be a special Max Sunny, which means that that's the time to farm everything, right? So you're going to have special Max, show up with whatever long cooldown you want, use a Monde, use Ambush Whitebeard, use whatever you want, blow through things incredibly, incredibly quickly, even the hardest stuff without stalling at all. You can use carrot teams all day. Here's a time for carrot teams to shine because no stalling needed with all your specials maxed out. After the first, from the first to the 16th, the three year anniversary Sunny is going to be a triple EXP ship. So, Vander Decken ship gives you 1.5 times EXP, it's going to switch into a triple EXP ship. So, that's the time to start using all of your Neptune teams, right? All your EXP boosting teams get ridiculously obscene amounts of experience. If you're anywhere newer to the game and you really want to farm pirate levels, I personally don't recommend it, but you can do it. There's a lot of story mode stages, especially when story mode goes on to double EXP or half stamina, that you actually can just play it non-stop and you'll get so much experience, you'll level up without having to refill gems at all. Like You'll literally be able to spend all your time farming story mode or EXP islands and you'll just level up non-stop. Takes a lot of time though, but if you want those levels, you could do it. Coming soon! <gasps> What could this be? So this is definitely the Luffy versus Katakuri event. Luffy versus Katakuri event coming out. It was spoiled on Shonen Jump or or some magazine. It might not have been Jump, but we do know this is going to be a uh, blitz battle, sort of like a Kainu v Aokiji. It was on Jump. Okay, it was on V Jump. So this is gonna be a blitz battle. Like a Gainu v Aokiji, you're gonna pick a side, or they're going to assign you a side, or like you're gonna, it, whatever island you fight, depending on which one you fight, you're gonna get points, and the winning side gets rewards. Right? That's nice. So, on the 28th, or coming up to the 28th, we'll get more details about that. Which side should you pick? Honestly, I would kind of wait a little bit at the start, see which side starts winning, and just kind of jump on a winning bandwagon, man. Take it easy, jump on a winning team, that's what I would do. So this one is interesting. 
This is new 6 plus Nekamamashi and 6 plus Inu Arashi. This is not the new dual Nekamamashi Inu Arashi legend. This is different. This is 6 plus Inu Arashi, 6 plus Nekamamashi. Is you're gonna get mail and it's going to let you uh, decide which one of these sets of Evolver skulls you want to get. Now the skulls are basically the same as the re as the old skulls. Um, I, I am 90% sure that these skulls are just the regular OG skulls. Now there is a little bit missing on them. There's like a one thing in the background or so that it's missing out to be exactly the same thing. But it is missing a little bit. But they should be just the generic red and yellow skulls. So, if you want to, if you already have red and yellow skulls saved, you can just use the red and yellow skulls to evolve your Inuyashi Nekomamushi, get more skulls as a backup. But if you have them, you can choose whichever one you need, so that way you can get them to evolve. On the first, there's gonna be a new Luffy Island. It, this may be uh, a new type of island. This is the Kimono Luffy that we've had before. But this is going to be an EXP island, a, bi a big time EXP island, which, hey, the first corresponds to us getting EXP boosting, EXP boosting ship. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. This Luffy island is going to come out before the anniversary ship changes. So this, sh this island is going to come out on New Year's, like the moment that New Year's hits on Japan. The first, the first, zero, 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 zero. But... Anniversary ship doesn't change until noon Japan time. If you're playing, do not start running those islands until the ship changes so you can get extra EXP. Island's gonna come out, chill out, wait for anniversary ship to give you that EXP boost, and then do EXP or big time EXP island. 12 hours from this island coming out. That's what you need to wait. Get all that sweet EXP. You can run it one time a day. So you'll want to, if you can't run it at all, you know, do it if you can. But if you can, wait, get the EXP boosting ship, then run the island. We're going to get Cotton Candy, Skill Book, and Lobster Island coming back out. Uh, it's going to start with Skill Book Island on the 26th to the 27th. Then it's going to roll into Lobster Island on the 28th to the 29th. And then we're going to go to three, uh, plus three Cotton Candy Island on the 30th to the 31st. Good. Remember that if you're looking for good teams to farm this, there's a lot of fast, 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 fast teams. We're going to have new teams with Carrot. We're going to have new teams with Treasure Map and Nell. Uh, I'll see if I can make some updated farming teams. Whichever teams I'll be using to farm. I'll try to make some updated speed teams for you guys. So at least you know what I'm using to farm these as many times as possible. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for basically a month in January, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we are getting all four of these raid bosses. So there's going to be Barto, Fuji, Kuma, and Sabo available on the raid boss page for three days every week. Sabo and Barto have their support abilities. Fuji and Kuma do not yet have support abilities. It could be that they're getting support abilities soon, and that's why they're letting you farm them. But you, I, I would say don't even bother clogging up your box space with them, at least until February, whenever they're starting to leave. But Barto just came out on Japan. Sabo, you can get him whenever he does come out. Get five copies. Max out the support abilities. If you haven't maxed them out, go ahead and do that. But it's a weird set of characters to have... For, uh, for a few days, for a month, basically. This is half stamina islands. So we're going to have a lot of half stamina Fortnites, half stamina Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Pizza Party, note Pizza Party, because the Pizza Party Fortnites, uh, Pizza Party Chopper and Robin have support abilities. I think it's Chopper and Robin. But make sure you do the Straw Hat Pizza Parties, because uh, at least two of those, Nami, Nami and Chopper have uh, support abilities. So get those, get those, get those. 
this is going to be preparation for treasure map. So starting on the 7th, we're going to start getting the zero stamina islands that gives you some free stuff. Getting ready for treasure map Kaido all the way to the 13th when treasure map Kaido goes away. We're getting turtles. Yay. We're getting four times EXP on story modes, but only the early story modes. A lot of the early story story mode islands have four times EXP. I mean, I guess it's nice, like I was saying earlier, it is really, 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 really possible to just pick an island and just farm it with a three times anniversary ship and some Neptune captains and just level up non-stop. You could play One Piece Treasure Cruise permanently and just level up non-stop. It's up into Alabasta, Alabarma, one of those that it'll go up to. But then the nice thing about this is that if you run story mode islands from one up to 50 island runs, you're going to get 2,000 friend points every once in a while. So one island run, you'll get 2,000 friend points. Five island runs, you'll get 2,000 friend points. Ten, you'll get 2,000 friend points. So make sure you do those friend points and actually do pulls. You don't want them to go to waste. And if you don't really care, you don't need to do this. This will not, this does not count extra islands. This is only story mode islands. So you have to do at least 50 story mode islands to get the all these like tons and tons and tons of friend point pulls. There'll be turtles on friend points. Uh, on the 26th to the 16th on friend point pulls, there will be princess turtles. So use your friend point pulls, get those turtles. Oh yes, look at this one. Wow, this is... This is the exciting news. This is the news you came here for. Raid Boss Rayleigh and Raid Boss Dofi are getting double stamina, double drop. That's right. They made an entire announcement panel just to let you know you can double stamina, double drop Raid Boss Rayleigh and Raid Boss Dofi like every single other Raid Boss and basically every single other fight in the game. That's it. That's all that means, man. Uh... Saints Island is coming back. Remember, if you have it, use the Foxy ship, double and uh, double Viola captains, and a Foxy ship. Also, the treasure map boosting chopper is a three times berry captain. Use any three times berry captain Foxy ship. Get tons of berries from that island, and then you can level up the Saints and then sell them for even more money. Rainbow Evolver Island is coming back. Buggy Socket Island is coming back. Double skill ups is gonna be on the 29th to the 4th. Super success on the 6th to the 29th and then the 4th to the 10th. Remember, if you're confused about if something is skill ups or super success on Japan, if you look at the power up button, if it's a single line of text on the power up button, it is double super success rate. Hi, YouTube. And if it's two lines of text, it is double skill up rate. Thanks, Abuda. I've been Zinigami, guys. That's all the news for you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. And y'all stay beautiful.